Shabbat Shalom. It is such a pleasure to see so many folks tonight with us in the Mishkan, and welcome to those of you who are joining us online as well. It's, um, it's a little warm outside. Uh, you know, it's summer. We have truly arrived in this summer moment. Um, but as always, you know, we come into Shabbat and we put aside the moments of the week, whether that is the news of the day, the politics of the world, or just the creeping tendrils of humidity that just kind of get us all, no matter where we go. I spent a week at home uh, in Denver, Colorado, which is why I'm especially aware of that right now. We're, we're, we, when we go up to the mountains, it's a very different um, experience. And one of the things that happened for me with my time away with my family was my awareness of the time, that the days just continue to kind of stretch out. And I felt like I had so much more time than I normally do when I'm at home. And then we came home, and that little bit of extra time stuck around. And I viewed it as just this little bit of blessing. And then I was reading in preparation for Shabbat, and I found this beautiful teaching by Rabbi Louis John Aaron. And he writes, in ancient days, when we visited the temple, additional sacrifice made way for additional song and additional prayer and additional opportunities, all just to come close to God. And we watched our words ascend to heaven, lifted up from the altar by smoke. And we had very few things, but we had lots of time. So we offered what was precious to us so that we could give substance to our prayers. And today, with computers and clocks and metrics and hourly wages and billing hours, time seems so much more precious than things. Every minute counts, and time lost is lost money, but it still takes time to come close to God. We listen to our prayers fly away to the heavens, guided by the ticking of the clock and the beating of our heart, and we have lots of things, but so little time. So we still offer what is precious to us, to give substance to our prayers. Smoke rises up, time flies away, neither can return, but may our prayers today be joined to the prayers of old as we return to God. Yadid Nefesh page 105. Take 
pleasure to invite Michael and Janet Rival along with their grandchildren to lead us in the lighting of these Shabbat candles. And if you would also like to light Shabbat candles with your family to help bring in more light to this world, to help make this time a little more special, now's the time to come on up. And don't be shy. There's plenty of sets. And this is just one of those ways that we can make this moment filled with a little bit more of that wonderful Shabbat energy. It is good to sing to Adonai to give thanks to God. Zamru Ladonai Vichinor can be found in the middle of page 111. Z. 
by Rachel Barenblatt writes, Dear one, you love me so much, you gave me your Torah for argument and play, for waltzing and conversation in this life and the next. And your song and your psalm, they nourish me as familiar as the womb. They wrap me tight like a newborn. I laugh in delight. Let me learn to break free. Your Torah lights up my eyes. It fuses my heart with my choices. It gives me just one letter, and I suck on it like candy. It's like manna. It changes flavor on my tongue. Tell me a true story all over again about how I used to be, about who I might yet be, about like you, you who are always becoming, always being. And as that Shabbat bride arrives, draw me close. I've been so scattered. So let's melt until we mingle. I want to come home. Choose me again and never stop. L'Chad Odi, page 115. <laughs> 
להגיד בבוקר חסדך ואמונתך בלילות. צדיק אתה מר יפרח כארז בלבנון יזכה שתולים בבית אדוני בחצרות אלוהינו יפריחו עוד ינבון בשיבה, כשנים ורעננים יהיו. להגיד כי השער אדוני, צורי ולא הבלעת בו. We rise on page 119. ברכו. אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בדברו מערי וערבים בחוכמה פותח שערים ובתבונה משנה עתים ומחליף את הזמנים ומסדר את הכוכבים במשמרותיהם ברקיע כרצונו בורא יום ולילה גולל אור מפני חושך וחושך מפני אור ומעביר יום ובין לילה ומבדיל בין יום ובין לילה אדוני צבאות שמו, אל חי וקיים תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד, ברוך אתה אדוני, המעריב ערבים. אהבת עולם בית ישראל עמך אהבת, תורה ומצוות חוקים ומשפטים אותנו לימדת. על כן אדוני אלוהינו, בשוכבנו וקומנו, נסיח בחוקיך, ונשמח בדברי תורתך. ומצוותיך לעולם ועד כי הם חיינו באורך ימינו ובהם נגיע יומם ולילה ואהבתך לטסים ימינו לעולמים, ברוך אתה ה' אוהב עמו ישראל. שמע ישראל ה' אלוהינו אדוני אחד. שמע ישראל, אדוני אלוהינו, 
Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Baruch Shem Kevod, Shem Kevod Malchuto, Le'olam Ba'ed. Shem kevod, shem kevod malchuto le'olam ba'ed. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. Ve'avta ha'et Adonai Elohecha Bechol levavcha u'bechol nafshecha U'bechol me'odecha Ve'hayu ha'devarim ha'ele Asher anochi metzabecha Hayom alebavecha Ve'shinanta ham levanecha Ve'dibarta ha'am Bishiftecha ha'bebeitecha U'belechtecha ha'baderech U'shokpecha u'fkumecha U'kshartam lehot al yadecha V'hayu letotafot pein einecha U'khtavtam al mezuzot beitecha U'visharecha L'man tizkeru V'asitem et kom yitzvotai V'item kiroshim l'eloichem Ahani Adonai eloichem Asher hotzeit yetchem Me'eretz mitzrayim L'hiyot lachem l'elohim Ani Adonai Elohechem. Adonai Elohechem emet. All this we hold to be true and sure. You alone are our God. There is none else. And we are Israel, your people. You are our sovereign. You deliver us from the hands of oppressors and save us from the fists of tyrants. You do wonders without number, marvels that surpass our understanding. You give us our life, and by your help we survive all who seek our destruction. You did wonders for us in the land of Egypt, miracles and marvels in the land of Pharaoh. You led your people Israel out forever to serve you in freedom. And when your children witnessed your power, they extolled you, gave you thanks, willingly they enthroned you. And full of joy, Moses, Miriam, all of Israel sang this song. Yalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
Jason, Pavel, you're welcome for bedtime anytime you'd like. <laughs> Continue with Vishamru, bottom of page 126. Vishamru, Vene Israel, Tashabat, Lasod, Tashabat, Vitor Tamberitola, Vishamru. Israel, et ha Shabbat, la sor et ha Shabbat, le tor tamberito la. Ben hiu ven, bene Israel, bene Israel, lo hoti le ola. Beshameru. Bene Israel, et ha Shabbat, lasor et ha Shabbat le dor tamberit olam. Ki sheshet yamim masa Adonai, asa Adonai et ha Shemayim. Yetaretz v'shamru v'ne Yisrael et ha-shabbat L'asor et ha-shabbat l'etor tamerit olam U'vayom ha-shi shavat v'ayin ha-fash shavat Vainafash Vishamru Vinde Israel et ha Shabbat Lasod et ha Shabbat le Dor Tamirit Olam Yit Kadal Vit Kadashem Herabba Amen Amen. 
Amen. <laughs> El Elion Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Vicone Hakol, Vizoher Hasde Havot, who may be Gula, leave Nebnehem, Liman Shemo Beahava, Mele Hoser Moshia Umagain, Baruchata Adonai, Magin Abraham, Ufoket Sarah. Atagi bolle la madonna e me chai meti mata rable hoshia mori hid hatal me chal ke la chai be chesed me chai meti berachamim rabim no flim berofecholim umati rasurim umekaye memunato. Lishene ahafar, Micha mocha baal givrot, Umido melach, Melech me me to mechaye, Umat me ach Yeshua, Veneman natal hachayot me team, Baruchata aronai, Mechaye. Amitim, Mata Kadosh, Shimcha Kadosh, Ukeroshim Becholiom, Yalelu Hasela, Baruchata Arunai, Hael Hakadosh. In honor of Shabbat and Rosh Chodesh Tammuz, we continue together responsively. You set the seventh day apart for the sake of your name. It is the culmination of the creation of heaven and earth. You blessed it more than the other days. You made it more sacred than the other times, as it is written in your Torah. And now the whole universe, sky, earth, all of their array was completed. With the seventh day, God has completed this work of creation. On the seventh day, God rested from all the work which God had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy. For on it, God rested from all the work of creation, which God had done. Our God and God of our ancestors, May our rest on this day be pleasing in your sight. Sanctify us by your mitzvot, and let your Torah be our way of life. Satisfy us with your goodness, gladden us with your saving power. Purify our hearts to serve you in truth. In love and favor, Adonai our God, let your holy Sabbath remain our heritage, that all Israel, sanctifying your name, may find rest. Praised are you, Adonai, who sanctifies the Sabbath. Ritse Adonai Eloheinu, Bamcha Yisrael, Utfilatam Bahava Tekabel, Uthil Ratzon Tamid Avodat Yisrael Amecha, El Karov Lecho Korav, Pene El of Dechavochonenu, Shefoch Ruchacha Aleinu. Eloheinu Belevoteinu, Yaalev Yavo, Vizacher Zichronenu, Vizichron Kolamacha Beit Yisrael Lefonecha. Letova lechen lechesed urachamim lechaim ulechalom beyom rosh hachores hazeh zochrein waronai loenu bol letova ufogdeinu vol hivracha veoshieinu volechaim. 
Our God and God of our ancestors, be especially mindful of us, of all your people, the house of Israel, for well-being and favor, kindness and compassion, for life and for peace on this day of the new month. Adonai, our God, this day remember us for well-being. This day acknowledge us with blessing. This day help us to a fuller life. Techazena enenu b'shuvacha l'tzion barachamim. Baruch ata Adonai, hamachazir shechinato l'tzion. We continue silently the words of our ancestors and the words of our hearts. Shalom Rav, al Yisrael amcha tasim leolam. Shalom Rav, al Yisrael amcha tasim. Ki ata hu Shalom, Shalom, Rab, Yisrael Amcha, Tassim Leolam, Shalom, Rab, Al Yisrael. Tassim Leolam Etov Benecha Levarech et Amcha Yisrael Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Leolam Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Adonai, 
המברך את עמו ישראל prayers of peace towards prayers of healing. We pray this evening for the healing of body, mind, and spirit, the healing of Metityahu ben Yitzchak v'yehudit, Andrew Wiseman, Lillian Schachter, Sheila Keenan, Yael Bat Hana v'yosef, the wounded soldiers and civilians of Israel, the hostages who remain held captive in Gaza. And as we would pray for the skill and the compassion of doctors and surgeons and nurses and healthcare providers, so too do we pray for the skill of mediators and diplomats who at this very moment are on their way once again to begin another round of negotiations for the release of our hostages. May they find success. May hearts of stone be returned to hearts of flesh. And may all the people in the land of Israel soon find the healing they so richly deserve. We ask for names now to be added to our prayer of healing this evening. Bless those in need of healing with refua shilema, the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us say So just last Shabbat, I explained that I am never surprised when the Torah speaks to our particular moment in time, that I believe and feel there is incredible harmony and symmetry between our world and the text when we are willing to hear its voice. And this week, the voice of the Torah does not just speak to us, it shouts. It is Parshat Korach. And in the nations where the five largest Jewish communities in the world dwell, a multinational crisis of leadership is unfolding. Just last week, here in Canada, in our very riding, we had a by-election with a historic result, which many in our country say was a referendum on the national leadership of Canada. In the United States, in the exact same week, there are now devastating repercussions for the political future of President Joe Biden, which arose from a disastrous presidential debate. In France, there is a rock and hard place moment as snap elections were called and the far right nationalists 
and the far-left populists, both who are filled with anti-Semitic leadership, now battle for rulership. In the UK, a landslide victory for the Liberals. The Labour Party arrived yesterday, a shattering rebuke to the decade-plus leadership of the Tories. And, as a side note, this election in the UK is placing a family who has regular Shabbat dinners at Downing Street for the very first time since Benjamin Disraeli was the Prime Minister in the late 1800s. Although that hasn't stymied the worry for some of Britain's Jews who are still deeply distrustful of the Labour Party after Jeremy Corbyn stained it with his vitriolic Jew hatred. And then, of course, do I even need to mention how in Israel we have had more than a year of protests against the government, and each day there is another question of leadership, accountability, and corruption. Leadership is in crisis across our world. Leadership is being challenged across our world. And Parshat Korach details the challenge to the leadership of Moses. The entire generation that left Egypt has been judged and is now doomed to die in the wilderness. And it is in this terrible tension that Korach ben Ishar, a member of the Levite clan, cousin to Moses, gathers to himself an insurrectionist group composed of disaffected leadership of 250 high-ranking tribal leaders. And he attempts to stage a coup. Korach speaks, you have gone too far, Moses. Every one of God's people is holy. God dwells among us. Who are you to place yourself higher than us? And this is, of course, the great and classic critique of those in power after a national crisis. You failed your mandate. You have taken advantage of your power. Things are worse than when you started. You have enriched yourself on the backs of us, and now it's time for change. And sometimes when these critiques arise, they are valid. They are fair. One could, many do, argue that a healthy democratic government is one in which leadership transitions occur at regular intervals. That these challenges and rotations to leadership are not a negative thing. They are, in fact, the very point of a multi-party system. This is how you hold your leaders accountable. Because, if we're honest, there are politicians, there are leaders who do all of the things that Korach describes. But Moses is not one of them. And our rabbis understand that the dramatic end of Korach's insurrection, where the earth literally swallows the rebels, is a sign of how unfair the critique and allegations against the leadership are. Our rabbis teach us in the Mishnah that machloket, disagreement, can and does exist in heaven's name. To disagree with your leaders, your teachers, your peers, it's not an evil thing, no. It's a holy thing, in fact, as long as it's done from a place of compassion and respect. And the existence of the house of Hillel and the house of Shammai these are the proof that disagreement in heaven's name is worthy. And we study their disagreements until this very day. But there is a kind of disagreement which does not merit holy status. And the rabbis say that Korach's disagreement with Moses is our primary example of such a disagreement. It is meant to be settled. It is meant to be forgotten. And our ancient rabbis were content to leave Korach as a rebellious, one-note villain. But, there's always a but, in the last few centuries, our tradition has re-examined Korach. The Izbeche Rebbe, a 19th century Hasidic rabbi, argues that the things that we read in the Torah are not the only things that Korach said. They are the good things that he said, the things that have a root of truth, a little spark of holiness inside of them, the best of his arguments. He said a lot of other things, too, things that had no value, no truth, no holiness, and so the Torah does not bother to recall them at all or pass them on. 
These forgotten words are the machloket lo l'shem shemaim, the disagreements that are not for the sake of heaven. And therefore, when you read Korach's words in the Torah, you should understand that they're being preserved for a reason. They contain value. And celebrated Torah scholar Aviva Gottlieb Zornberg also re-examines Korach, teaching in the name of the Maharal of Prague that Korach is so sure of his rightness, of his righteousness, of his perfection, he cannot see the damage he is doing until it is too late. She says, quote, he is the one who is so right, there's no room for discussion. He is manically rational. His words avoid metaphor. There are no questions. There are no incompletenesses. He has no awareness of his own edge. He has no desire to transcend his failings. And she is joined by 18th century sage Rabbi Mushulam Faivisher Heller, who argues in his work, The Yosher Divrei Emet, that Korach was only ever capable of seeing faults in others and he could never see it in himself. It was Moses' sense of his own greatness, Korach thought, that caused him to exalt himself over God's community. But regarding himself, Korach never once imagined he had any sense of grandiosity at all. If we pull these elements of our tradition together, we actually draw a very different picture than the self-serving demagogue that our early rabbis are content with. The Korah who emerges from our later rabbinic tradition is a talented and critical rival to Moses whose failure is that he will not examine his own values. He will not criticize his own beliefs. His compromising nature is uncompromising. He leads his followers to destruction through his confidence not because he lacks critique, not because he's unwilling to dream. To quote Rabbi Arthur Green, if only this advice were heeded by today's generation of leaders. Read it this way, he was not a person of wicked intent, but he was simply one who did not know how to turn his sharp eye of critical judgment inwards towards himself. Do you know this person? Are you this person? As Jews, especially this week, we feel that anxiety. We see this sort of person on the stages of world leadership. We see them voting at the polls, the kind of person so assured that they are righteous that they have closed themselves off to any and all critique. It's nothing new to say that we live today in a world of intense polarization and factionalism. That the healthy levers of democracy, the transition between governments, it is groaning between public distrusts. And our ancient value of machloket l'shem shemaim does not feel appreciated today. Fewer and fewer people are willing to acknowledge that there can be two or even more valid perspectives. Nuance is all too often replaced by extremism, and the complicated calculus of values and goals and identity is under attack by with us or against us partisanism. Every opponent suddenly has become Korach. And in response to such extremism, we too are in danger of becoming Korach. So what can be done? To avoid becoming Korach, we must do what Korach could not do. We have to continuously examine and interrogate our own personal beliefs and our values and our positions so that in a world that faces massive challenges of leadership, we identify and support honestly the leaders who represent us for the best of our community, for the best of our world, and for the best of the Jewish people, even and especially when our first glance, our initial bias might pull us away. And the opposite is also true. 
we must identify those who, by either willful hatred or puritanical blindness, would seek to cause us harm, even if at first glance we may agree with their position or their politics or who they view as their enemies. This is not just an idea that is designed to make us more safe or more full members of civil society. This is a Jewish spiritual concept. It is so key to Judaism that Rabbi Shani Gross, the senior director of education for Pardes North America teaches that when we are aware of our own bias, it is the first step in transforming a machloket from the depths from a machloket that is lo b'shem shemayim, a machloket that is doomed to be forgotten, like Korach and Moses, to the height of Shammai and Hillel's mutual admiration. Rabbi Shani teaches that to see God in your own vision, in your own view, is easy. But to see God in the views of those you disagree with, that is what begins the redemption of the world. As this summer continues, the challenges and transformations of leadership across our world will continue to play out. And so in these coming days, may we heed the voice of Torah. May we be vigilant and honest, engaged and fair. May we be far from the ways of Korach, who could see no way forward but his own. And may our disagreements be for the sake of heaven for the health of our good country, and for the continued strength of our people, Israel. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. We begin the conclusion of our Shabbat worship with the words of Aleinu. Page 139, please rise as you are able. עלינו לשבח לאדון הכל, לתת כדלה ליוצא בראשית, שלא עשנו כגויי הרצות, ולא שמענו כמשפחות האדמה, שלא שם חלקנו כהם, וגור עלינו ככל המונם, ואנחנו קוראים ומשתחווים ומודים, לפני מלך מלכי המלכים. הקדוש ברוך הוא, שהוא נוטה שמיים ביוסר הארץ, ומושב יקרוב השמיים ממעל, ושכינת זו, ושכינת זו, וגובה מרומים הוא אלוהינו אין עוד. הם את מלכנו אפס אולתו, קעקעתו בתורתו, וידעת היום, וידעת היום, והשיבות אל לבביך, כי ארוני הוא האלוהים בשמיים ממעל, ועל הארץ, ועל הארץ, מתחת. אין עוד, ונאמר, והיה אדוני למלך על כל הארץ, ביום ההוא, ביום ההוא יהיה אדוני אחד, ושמו, ושמו, ושמו אחד. I would invite our mourners to remain standing while the rest of us are seated, if only for a moment, that we may support you at this time. Tonight, we mark the yard sites of the following. Rebecca Banks, Sidney Baumel, Morley Blankstein, Max Bloom, Ann Bregman, Benjamin Bregman, Baruch Cincinnatus, Blanche Cohen, Martin J. Cohen, Mary Cohen, Moe Cole, Ann Cooper, Sidney Koopman, Jacob Davis, Anne Drevnig, Lauren Dunkelman, Rose Finston, Lucille Fisher, Abe Garson, Albert Goldman, Ivica Grinbaum, Max Grossman, Morris Kanoff, Morris Killam, Loren Credenster, Credenser, Joel Levine, Morris Lease, Dora Lifsitz, Rebecca Little, Marsha Papernick, Shilly Rosen, Philip Rosenberg, Irving Rubin, Irving Schachter, Abe Schwartz, Benjamin Schechter, 
Rose Shirkin, Percy Singer, Barry Spiegel, Ralph Sternberg, Claire Sweet, Ernst Weinberg. And we remember to those who have died most recently, their families remain in the period of Shloshim. Anne Brandis, Richard Broadlieb, Bernard Crystal, Sandra Charney, Leslie Davis, James Downer, Miriam Cronby, Simon Lieberbaum, Doug Ramshaw, Carol Shipper, and the families of the fallen soldiers of Israel. Are there names to be added at this time? As one, we rise to support our mourners and praise God's holy name, Kedish Yatom, page 142. Yit gadal vit kadash shemei raba, amen. Be'al ma divara chirute v'yamlich malchute. V'chayechon v'yomechon v'chayye d'chol beit Yisrael. V'agala uvizman kari v'imru, amen. Yehe shemei raba mavarach le'olam ulomei amaya. Yit barach v'yish tabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit alal shemei d'kudisha b'richu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tush b'chata v'nechamata, da'amiran be'alma v'imru, amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu be'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. Ose shalom b'mromav, hu yase shalom. Aleinu be'al kol Yisrael v'imru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn, comfort to all who are bereaved, amongst us, amongst our people Israel, in all lands, near and far. And together we say, Amen. Amen. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Bore Peri HaGafen. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kirshanu Mitzvotav Ratzavanu. Veshabat Kodcho, Meahabba Uveratzon Hinchilanu, Zikaron Lemahase Vereshir. Ki hu yom techila la mikra e kodesh, zeche le tzihar mitzrayim. Ki vannu vacharta, v'yotanu kidashta, mikol achamim. V'shabar kodshecha, v'yahava uberatzon, Inchaltanu Baruch Atarunai Mekadesh HaShabbat L'chaim. Amen. So I feel like it's time to repeat this again so that no one's in the dark. No, this is important. This is pedagogy. This is how you make sure that people know what's going on. So. The Talmud tells us that we cover the challah in order that she maintain her modesty. Because whenever you say a bracha over bread, it's always the very first blessing that we say. But on Erev Shabbat, it's the final blessing that we say. And how embarrassed would the challah be to find out that she was the last instead of the first? And so, in my family, when we uncover the challah, as an extra level of praise, we say, oh, what a beautiful challah to elevate her one step even higher. So on three. One, two, three. Oh, what a beautiful challah. Baruch atarunai Eloheinu melech haolam hamotzi lechem min haaretz. Amen. First line, Zaddy. Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharein, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Amelachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem Shalom, Malachi Asharom, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech, Malachi Amelachim, Akadosh Baruch Hu. Ay ay ay, Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Asharein, Malachi Elyon, Mimelech. 
מלאכי המלאכים הקדוש. ברוך הוא, ברוך הוא, ניל שלום, מלאכי השלום, מלאכי עליון ממלך, מלאכי המלאכים הקדוש, ברוך הוא. עושה איתכם שלום, מלאכי השלום, מלאכי עליון ממלך, מלאכי המלאכים הקדוש ברוך הוא, איי 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 שלום עליכם, מלאכי השרת, מלאכי עליון ממלך, מלאכי המלאכים הקדוש ברוך הוא. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.